Kenya's move to reject United Nations top court decision on its tiff with Somalia over maritime borders, pundits have said, would fuel more attention given Kenya's previous incursion into the country in the war against terror. The International Court of Justice ruled largely in favor of Somalia in setting a maritime boundary in an area of about 38,000 square miles believed to be rich in oil and gas. These reasons the court, one, unanimously finds that there is no agreed maritime boundary between the Federal Republic of Somalia and the Republic of Kenya that follows the parallel of latitude described in paragraph 35 above. The ruling was made over a dispute that stems from a disagreement over which direction their border extends into the Indian Ocean. Two, unanimously decides that the starting point of the single maritime boundary delimiting the respective maritime areas between the Federal Republic of Somalia and the Republic of Kenya is the intersection of the straight line extending from the final permanent boundary beacon, PB29, at right angles to the general direction of the coast with the low water line. Kenya's president, Mr. Uhuru Kenyatta, in a statement said that, quote-unquote, the decision was clearly erroneous. Initially, Kenya, on the 24th September 2021, withdrew its recognition of the compulsory jurisdiction of the ICJ. During the hearing, the 14-judge panel of the International Court had also rejected an argument by Somalia that Kenya had violated its sovereignty by operating in its territorial waters. Somalia's Information Minister Osman Dube on Twitter welcomed the ruling and congratulated Somalis on regaining their territory. Kenya and Somali have had dicey relations with diplomatic ties, always looking to head for the worst possible scenarios. Both sides have engaged in border disputes, petty skirmishes, and in some cases, armed conflict. Kenya has had an influx of Somali refugees since the fall of Somalia's dictator Siad Bari in 1991 and on several occasions threatened to shut down Dadaab, arguably the world's largest refugee camp. The International Court of Justice ruling currently has been met with fury by some Kenyans, while others have opined that the government to accept and move on over the issue.